Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 25 Jan last week with trading of the first month. Um, in January, we're already here. A little bit of risk on overnight. Not really sure why. Um, equities mildly higher. Aussie Kiwi higher. Even though we got our first case uh, in a while in New Zealand, COVID case that was announced. Mexican president has COVID. Um, not much in the news. In fact, Goldman came out and said, um, you know, this the market has unsustainable excess built into it, and yet we're half percent higher. Just goes to show you it's real hard to pick this turn. Uh, don't want to pick the absolute top. Wait for it. You'll see it. You'll see it on that first red bar. Not there yet. Anyway, this is Dollar Max. Uh, we had some real bullish action on Friday. I do think you can probably pick this up between 80 and 75 today. So 1980, 1975. I always say it. Stay away from Dollar Max in Europe. Um, it's a sucker's fucking bet. So don't push your chips in unless liquidity is is fully evolved, and that means um, you gotta wait, wait for North America. You gotta wait for Mexico City to get in, New York to get in for dollar max. But we like to buy that today. Check out this this uh, euro just kind of floating near the highs. I don't really know what to do with it up here. Ninety, ninety the high. We talked about seventy six being like moderately important. Um, Friday, but it turns out it really wasn't that important. ISM, they jammed it. So we all got short at the open. We all got long dollars at the open. Everyone got jammed up to 89, back down to 55.50. I was thinking about 50 a lot on Friday, so I'm going to continue thinking about that today. We got Chrissy Lagarde uh, at 11.15. I don't know what the hell she's going to say, but she might say something that's sort of uh, weaker euro because she was alluding to that in her rambling on the other day last week at ECB so keep your eye out for that cables bid uh, god knows why I mean it's the same same game plan you want to buy this on stretch weakness sell this on stretch highs it's not really going anywhere but it's bid you can see this is the you can see the trend here is up um, sorry the 2021 trend is up uh, the trend from where is that coming from 2020 yeah been a nice little two-year up trend but tons of all uh, we still think this goes up we think this goes gonna go to you know 144 or something so eventually but uh, nothing to do here at uh, 137 137.19. Dollar Swiss, just waiting, right? Here's the four hourly chart. These highs are important. 89.25. Dicking around here at the lows. Um, this whole pattern gets sort of screwed over if we get down below 88.20. So if you think this is one big, huge head and shoulders, which a lot of people do, um, 88.20 is going to sort of mess up that pattern. Dollar yen, nobody knows what to do with this. Kind of randomly goes up and down. Euro yen, I don't know, a little bit higher today. Uh, actually, just right where it started. Nothing to say there. Let's, let's, um, let's talk Aussie. Kind of reclawing the losses um, from Friday. This is what everyone's going to be sort of drawing and looking at right now, this little pennant. Um, so this could be helpful at some level. Um, we like the downside to break eventually, so let's keep an eye on that. Kiwi and Kiwi Yen. Kiwi Yen. 
the conventional bankers have this on their long Kiwi Yen. They survived uh, the downside on Friday. It still looks pretty good. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Um, but this is just an equity trade, so it's kind of just long equities. Uh, but the flock is long this. So when this turns, it'll be an interesting instrument, I think. Uh, keep an eye on Kiwi. And if you're not long, now is not the time to get long. Nor is it the time to get short. But we're just watching it because we know the flock is long. Dollar CAD. I was pretty fucking bullish on uh, Friday. Wasn't it? Damn. Um, this was interesting in a sense that this was a turn bar when they talked about tapering here. Thursday. ECB day. Uh, talked about tapering. Made the shock low. 125.90 did not like it there I think dollar cad's gonna go higher I don't know why I just have this um, I just have this intuition where to get long I don't know I mean I would be a scooper today buy some bids um, between sort of 80 and 50 dollar cad gold not doing much did not like it. Um, did not like it up in the 70s. Uh, took a little trip down to 37 on Friday. Just fucking around here. Just screwing a lot of people. Um, no clarity. No clarity here in gold. Get the feeling left is still the weak side. Careful if you're long gold. Uh, ZB, no love. We just can't get paid. We keep leaving offers. We're not getting paid. Lonely offers. Now if you get paid, something's wrong. So we don't really want to offer this today. Um, we're not going to be aggressively hitting bids. Um, we might be watching down here 168.07. Anytime Biden speaks, we feel like there's going to be more stimulus. There's going to be more bonds, more supply. So we're careful of this. He is speaking today uh, 345. Eastern, I guess, so late in Europe. Keep an eye out on that. Uh, not that close of an eye, but anyway, Bitcoin on its knees at 28,700. Now standing 33,264. This is the same. Looks super bid up at 40. You need to sell it. Looks super offered down at 30. You need to buy it. We do not trade that way. We're not involved in Bitcoin right now. We squared our Bitcoin at 32.5. Uh, we'll see. We'll be trying to buy this stuff somewhere around 20, between 20 and 10, uh, if it gets back down there. It probably will. Crude is not bid. I don't know why, but it's not. We've been getting paid on the short side of this. We'll continue to play the short side of this. Um, 51.30 was really a, a meaningful point for us, but now this 51.50 area uh, is interesting, just technically. So this was the low on the 11th. The low uh, on Friday was 48. You can sell high ones here. I don't think we're going to get above um, these highs up here, 54 bucks. Not much else to say today. Uh, calendar looks pretty queasy and quiet. Um, bank holiday in Australia. Monetary policy meeting minutes out in Japan. That seems weird. 7 p.m. 6.50 p.m. Swiss time. That doesn't make any sense. Um... Oh, no, 6.50 p.m. Eastern Standard. Yes, that does make sense. So policy minutes out of Japan way late tonight. Uh, Lagarde speaking uh, this morning, 11.45. Um, let's just see. I guess Lagarde's worth listening to. You kind of have to listen to her. Um, but the calendar's weak. The charts aren't great. <clears throat> we like buying dollar max today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... Otherwise, we're kind of in a waiting, in a waiting game. The 
Dollars are had a big day on uh, Friday, up to 14. This is the same sort of chart as Dollar Max. You might want to pick this, some of this shit up uh, down towards 15, double O. Anyway, I've said a lot, but uh, really meant very little today. Sell high ones in crude, buy some low ones in Dollar Max, I guess. Um, watching this Dollar Swiss level, which is 75 points away, nobody cares. Might want to try and buy some Dollar CAD. Not super strong on the idea side on a Monday morning, but there it is. Patience, I guess, is the trade. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.